Chapter 42 Jacob bitched at his sons and told them to get their asses on their asses and buy some rations in Egypt. Jacob didn't send Benji because he loved him, because he came from Rachel, the only one of the four women he liked. Joseph was the vizier, the ration boss, dictator, so the ten brothers had to bow to him with their faces on the ground. Joseph recognized them, but they didn't recognize him. Verse 9, you are spies. Verse 11, we are honest men. They told their story, and Joseph re repeated a few times, you are spies. Joseph tied up Simeon after they had all spent three days in a dungeon, and let the others go back to get Benji or die. They all got rations and their money returned to their bags, and they thought God was fucking with them when they found the money bags. Punishment for selling Joseph out of the death pit into slavery. Jacob flipped when he heard the story. Verse 36. It is always me that you bereave. Joseph is no more, and Simeon is no more, and now you would take away Benjamin. These things always happen to me. Always, except for never before, when he was taking plunder and slaves from a slaughtered city, or, well, whatever. It's just a story. Verse 37. Then Reuben said to his father, You may kill my two sons if I do not bring him back to you. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? Jacob whines a little more like a little bitch. Jacob was always a whiny bitch, by the way. He All he did his whole life was whine, and there's, there's a bit of an art to that, and I wouldn't say that they're not above that in today's world, to do what they say, what they say, oh, my life is so hard, my life is so hard, I had to get up this morning, and I have to get up tomorrow, and I have to go to work, oh, life is so hard. It always happens to me. I got a parking ticket. Oh. Anyway, so this is the dreams coming true, of course, where everyone was bowing to the new dictator of Egypt. This, if you read throughout the Bible, it happens a few times that the Hebrew boy walks in there and takes over the whole fucking country, just like that. Because God likes him. <laughs> oh, God's going to bless this guy. Because he's one evil son of a bitch. <sighs> okay. And obviously it's always God that does anything. Nobody ever stops to think that it might be somebody else. Like with the money going into the bags. Eh. The logic. The logic of it. And there are thousands and thousands of priests propagating this bullshit in huge empires of religious... Uh, the, the buildings, the rich is put into these buildings so that priests could stand up there and tell you fairy tale lies. And you buy the shit and keep giving them more and more power and more and more money. The Catholic Church owns more land than the fucking Roman Empire did. Just so you know.